Hello everyone, it's Siskelabs, and this is Stoblock. Everyone's had a fantastic day. I'm having a pretty amazing one myself. I'm uh, feeling a lot better today, I have to say. Feeling much better. And uh, yeah, in between episodes, I did not do a ton. I did do a little bit of stuff here, so we kind of take a look. I did set up these here, so three stonework factories. One's us producing cobblestone, the other one gravel, the other one sand. And it's just getting kind of pulled into this drawer system using flat, flat transfer nodes uh, in between them. And I just filtered by the drawers. And then, yeah, it's got an external storage day out here. Just so we always see those kind of materials in the system. I don't have to worry about it. That way, if I'm ever using glass, gravel, or, or cobblestone, I never run out. Because <laughs> otherwise, I, I didn't have it coming in the system automatically. And uh, something you should always have, I think. And I got that done. Uh, over here, I just kind of cleaned it up. So I kind of add some mineral wood. I have that going. And uh, this is producing really well, I have to say. Uh, if we go to, I guess, Igit, you'll see here. We're up to about six and seven thousand of most of the ingots and the materials, so it's uh producing very very well, like very well. Over time, we'll just get more and more and more, and it'll end up being a ridiculous amount of materials. I did still didn't work on chicken skin, but uh, yeah, definitely a thing. And down here, I just kind of covered up all the condo facade. I did switch this one over to get us some uh, sugar cane for a while, and I'll probably switch it back to the seed. But uh, coming forward, not today, probably the next video. Uh, we're going to need a lot of sugar there, so I figured it'd be a good thing to do. And, uh, yeah, pretty much all I did. I don't think I did anything else. I didn't do anything down here, did I? No, nothing. <laughs> well, I did work on my, I guess, my little portals here. Slowly trying to work out how I'm going to do this room. So I added some uh, flat-colored blocks here. These are kind of a cyan color. And uh, I think it looks pretty nice, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. They almost look like bullseyes. And it'll, it, in time, it'll uh, kind of turn into something. I just need so many blocks. It takes so much time, but... I will get it done. Uh, what I actually want to get to work on today, okay, if we kind of look at our quest book here, I'd like to start working towards the rainbow generator. The rainbow generator is, well, a generator that produces a lot of power. I'm not sure exactly what it produces now, but it used to be 25 million, but I think it got nerfed because there was a way to abuse it. Like I used to, one time I did, I got a billion RF out of the thing. I'm not sure if that's even possible anymore, but whatever it produces is going to be a lot. So... I want to get this going. The way this generator kind of works is you have to automate every one of these generators and have it kind of firing all at the same time for this generator to turn on. So basically, we need to set up and automate every one of these generators. So we're going to have to kind of do them in batches and get them done here. I think that's going to be the first thing we work on. So let's actually start that. Kind of figure out how we're going to do it because I haven't fully planned it out at all. But uh, it should be pretty easy. Let's go to, uh, what is it, extra? Utils. Check that out. See if we can find the generators here. So the first one we'll probably want is some machine blocks. <laughs> Let's uh, do some of those. Let's grab that. Let's grab some furnaces. Oh, not the furnaces. We want the furnace generator, right? I guess the survivalist is the first one. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of regular furnaces because they're probably going to just pop up over and over and over. This one will be super easy to automate, so we'll get that one done. The furnace generator, almost the same thing, just uses the fuel a little quicker. So we'll grab one of them, that'll handle that. Uh, culinary generator, I guess we'll do that one out of the first batch. That should be pretty easy. I'll probably need a couple of these ones, right? I'll just do... Whoa, what happened there? Machine blocks. Oh, they're in my inventory, that's a problem. I'll just get a couple of these, because I think they're using a couple of the recipes. So we'll just kind of put one there, then grab the magmatic. Sweet. And then we'll grab ourselves. What was the other one? Culinary. Grab one of them. Sweet. It keeps grabbing the wrong one. Stop that. Let's put it in there. Uh, we're going to need this heated redstone one. This one isn't too bad, I don't think, either. Uh, this one might take lava, but it uh, shouldn't be a problem for us at all. So we'll grab you, then you. So we'll take that one. I guess we ended up with two magmatics somehow. doesn't matter. Ender generator, that should be another really easy one to automate, so we'll grab that one. I'm just going to kind of grab them in order, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Potion generator, I don't think I'm going to do today. We could do pink generator, though. Let's grab that. Do we have enough pink dye? Oh, we might need some pink wool. <laughs> Let's do that and grab that. So I think we'll do this as a first batch. Is that eight? No, I want eight. Let's grab the overclocker. Let's do that one as well. This is one of the worst ones to automate, but... Not a big deal, it's just how fast it burns fuel. So I guess we're going to grab those. Let's go ahead and grab some uh, cobblestone. Let's grab that, because I have a certain way I want to have them set up here in the room. And we're probably actually going to get a bunch of quests here. I didn't even think of that. Uh, what did we get? Let's go ahead and grab these. Got to grab you. Grab one of these puppies. And uh, see what we get in our loot chest, I guess. And uh, hopefully we get something cool, man. I'm, I'm hankered for some cool stuff. 
It's been a while. Let's do that. Sweet. I'm going to end up having to move this entire power setup because I plan on having all the generators kind of spaced out a couple blocks apart, just floating in the walls. That's kind of how I'm going to have it here. Some Phoenix blocks. Got some speed upgrades. More Draconic Infused Obsidian, which could be used for a portal. And uh, what else we got here? Got another Diamond Shield, which I don't really care about. <laughs> it's a more epic bacon. Nothing wrong with that. It's always good food. But, uh, yeah, nothing particularly amazing there. So let's drop you off, you off. That should be good. So I, I was thinking, I kind of had this room kind of planned out here. We're going to automate these, like I said, and kind of spread out. So I'm going to do like two blocks. Then I'm going to do a generator, and I can just keep doing that, right? I'll just come back and break that all later. And we'll just kind of automate one to move on. You know what I mean? So I think it's the best bet. Actually, I should put these three together. Let's put the overclocker right here as well. There we go. Because they're going to be probably all burning the same fuel. We might be able to automate them all together. Although we may do this one slightly different, actually, because it burns fuel so quickly. Magmatic. Sit that puppy there. Come down here. Do another one. Culinary. I haven't really picked a food yet. But I think I used slime in the past. I'm not sure if slime is still a food. Oh, the Tinker slime is still a food. So we definitely do that. Uh, what is this one? This one is lava. Maybe we'll put that one beside that one. Just because it has lava as well. That we don't have to use as many kind of ender tanks and stuff, right? A little more efficient. Pop you there. That one's going to be the culinary. Pop you there. And how many jitterators got left? Still got lots of room. <laughs> Let's go with the pink. The pink one's a little odd one, so if you go to use on this one, uh, let's see here. I think, I'm pretty sure, I'm going to have to test it, but I think we can burn dirt in this one. So we can burn anything that's pink. So we could use pink dye, but if we can just use dirt, we can automate that really easy using our essence. And, uh, it should be pretty easy. There's actually a chicken we could make too, the beep boop chicken I think it is. You make a chicken and I think you use a grass block on it, and it converts it into a chicken that produces grass blocks. <laughs> I actually you might not be able to burn grass blocks, so scratch that one. It might be just dirt blocks. But anyway, let's get these all broken. We kind of figure out how we're going to do this. So do that. That. I figure we're just going to use uh, refined storage to kind of pipe it all up. Kind of get it done that way. Probably be the easiest way here. Let's go ahead and grab a whole bunch of cable, I guess. Let's go. Cable. That might be enough at the start. We'll also need uh, export buses. Not export buses. Exporters. Well, let's do like 40 of them. There we go. Sweet. Grab them. They're things I always need anyway, so it doesn't matter that I did a bunch. And then, yeah, just get the exporters on the back, because that's going to be how we pump uh, most of the materials into them, right? So I guess the magmatic won't need that, but not a big deal here. I'm actually curious about the magmatic. Where's the magmatic? Right there. Let's go check a uh, lava egg real quick, because if I could just use a lava egg, that'd be cool. Uh, but if I have to use a mechanical user, it's not really worth the time. Let's do magmatic. Yeah, you can't just pump that in there. Doesn't seem you could just use it either. Nope, that is not going to work at all. <laughs> I'm not sure how you would get the lava there. You'd have to use something to pump it in there. Uh, if you were doing the eggs. The eggs, I was hoping it would just be right-click, go in. But that is not an option. So not a big deal. Let's go across here. Let's get everything kind of hooked up here and start automating these, I guess. Let's do that. And we're going to be kind of tweaking the settings on these so they don't burn as much fuel um, as they would normally. We're kind of going to milk the system and abuse it. So we'll do that. Um, first thing we're going to do here, I guess, we're going to set these all to redstone on. I'm going to turn every one of them to that. And yeah, that's going to make it so they use about one-eighth of fuel that they normally do. So we're not really worried about the power these things produce. It's not important at all. It's really an afterthought because the rainbow generator is actually be what ends up producing all the power. We just need these to be able to turn on <laughs> at any given time. So what I'm going to do is start setting the exporters here. These ones here, I could probably just do coal, right? So let's grab a piece of coal here. Go to this one. Uh, go to right here. Actually, we don't even need coal. Let's actually go make a recipe real quick. We'll probably use tidy coal. It'd be more efficient, wouldn't it? Let's go here. Let's go to, uh, what is it? Tiny coal. Set that recipe real quick. Pop that right there. And then get that into here. That's cool. Uh, we'll probably have to make a tiny coal, but that's not a big deal. Because uh, we can just do that right here. <laughs> there we go. And this is going to power three of the generators. It's going to be straight up what powers them. And if we need more coal chickens, that's not really a big deal. But I don't think we really will. We'll kind of have to watch that over time as it's producing. 
Who's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. That's Porter. Wait a second. Why aren't you uh, importing? What in tarnation? <laughs> Why is that not coming in there? It's not the redstone setting, is it? No? Huh. I want to... Oh. Wait a second. That should work, right? I'm confused. Maybe I set the recipe wrong. Go there. Cool. If I set this cool, does it work? Yeah, it works. So there's something wrong with the recipe here. Let's get that out. Let's get you out. Let's get you out. I don't even know what I did, man. I totally derped here somewhere. We need to go check this recipe. Here, I did. One coal equals a tiny coal. Really? Why wouldn't you work? Did I get the recipe in? <laughs> it's right there. Oh, crafting cards. I'm such a derp. I'm a, I'm a total derp. Let's go ahead and uh, make some crafting cards here. Let's make like 10 of them so we have them on hand. Then grab three of those. Throw them in there. Then they'll be working fine. I'm just being a straight up derp here. Anyway, let's go ahead, throw you in there, throw in a tiny coal, and that should work there. Sweet. So they're just going to fill up tiny coal. They're pretty much automated. That'll handle everything. I could put speed upgrades in here, but there's really no point. And uh, yeah, that's good there. So they're all working. That's good there. So this one's going to need lava. So the do lava should be super easy. I just need an enter tank on the right signal. I just, just can't remember what I used. White, white, red, it looks like. Let's go ahead. And grab a enter tank. Do I have any in here? I never automated those. Enter tank. This will grab one of those puppies. Sweet. Uh, we'll also need some dye. So let's go. Uh, I guess we just need red dye, maybe. Do we have any red dye? Yeah, right there. <laughs> Rose red. Sweet. And uh, we'll just take that, pop that down, set it to the right channel. And uh, really, we just need to pipe it into there, right? So I'm just gonna break you. And that's going to have to go in two of these furnaces here. So one's going to go to the magmatic. One's going to go in here. And uh, it may be a little, you might be going, what the heck is he doing? In time, it's all going to become apparent. We'll just kind of get it going here. And, uh, you'll have to watch, man. We're going to make magic with this rainbow generator. <laughs> the amount of power you get out of this thing is actually pretty silly. I'm, I'm really curious what it's set to now. Because like I said, I don't think I've touched it since uh, FTB Continuum, right? I don't think I've done it since then. But anyway, let's go to Extract. I guess we'll set that one to extract as well. Then I should be able to just insert and insert. So they're full lava now. That's good. This one also needs redstone, I believe. I think so. Let me go to... Yeah, I think it's just redstone. So let's actually go set the filter on that puppy. Let's go here. Sweet. Go to redstone. Uh, we got 13k. That works. We're, we're more good on redstone. So we'll do that there. So that's going to fill up redstone. And, uh, like right now, I have it set to redstone off. So if I actually turn this off now, they're actually going to produce power. But uh, is this going to burn through fuel right now for no apparent reason? So I want them set to redstone on. That is why I'm doing that. So the culinary generator. I had a plan for that one. Let's kind of go over here. I may have to wire up. Which one would I want? Probably this one. Yeah. I may have to use this one. This one would probably be the best bet. Because this is a food. So that would work. I could craft another food, you know what I mean? I could make bread or something like that. Pump that in here, but we're already producing this. This always just keeps producing. And I could just add a couple of these. It should be able to handle it, no problem. But we should be able to start with one. Then I just need to teach the system to convert this stuff. It's actually why I want to use the magma, because we can convert this back um, straight into uh, slime, right? So we just go bam, go like that. There, one of those is four. Where if I use green, it's not going to work. So green slime, I'm pretty sure, if you go to green slime, is not food anymore, like it used to be. Yeah, you can't just straight up eat it. So this is probably our best option. But I am going to have to storage bus this, maybe. Do that. Let's go down here. Sweet. Let's go to storage. I don't know what I just picked up, but I don't want it. Storage. There we go. External storage. Grab that. I keep calling them storage buses and stuff like that. I know. I'm a derp. Do you grab that? It's not uh it's not that mod, man. I can't remember how far down the line was. <laughs> it is which way? Oh, I'm in a horrible spot. I'm just gonna have to dig this all out for a second. Yeah, I need to get to that uh, line of cable down there. And uh, just pull that across, right? Because we just kinda go 
like this. It'll never be seen. No one will ever know it's here. You guys don't tell anyone. But we're going to have some trouble. <laughs> anyway, let's do that there. Maybe bring the cable across. Bring it down. I don't want these empty little holes here. That'll drive you crazy. To you. Sweet, 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 sweet. And hopefully I can get out of here. Maybe? Nope, I'm stuck. Awesome. Okay. So that should be stored with bus now. System should be able to see that. And now we should be able to do stuff with it. Uh, let's go teach it to convert that stuff, right? So we'd have to go here, go to here. Sweet. I may end up needing more of those bonsais, but uh, for right now, that should be fine. Especially, you know, just to make sure it's all working here. But I should be able to take that recipe down, throw it in there. And I should be able to go to slime, right? And grab one of these. We got 1.5k plus 3k of the block. So we actually have, you know, close to 7,000 of the stuff. So we're pretty good. But anyway, after all that, you should be able to just go here, pump that in there, and uh, we'll need another crafting card. Sweet. And that way, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's the blocks or not, you'll be able to craft it, get this filled up, and that would be food. I just want to make sure it works too. What's the burn time? 50 seconds? That's going to last forever with the setup we're going to use anyway. So anyway, I want uh, redstone on. There we go. <laughs> so the next one, pink generator. Let's go. You can't. I don't like that you can't check the fuels, but I'm pretty sure we can use dirt, right? I just ate that. <laughs> if you eat that slime, you get bad effects. It looks like this one gives us weakness and wither. So yeah, don't eat that, man. <laughs> and fire resistance. That's a little funny. But anyway, uh, we're going to need uh, dirt, right? So let's go to here. Let's go to dirt. We only have 218, but we can use this essence as well to craft it. So that should work just fine. I just want to make sure that works. Yeah, burns quick. That is the only thing. But, uh, since we can craft it, that's not that big a deal. Let's go redstone on. This will go this way. I could always make more essence too if we need it. Uh, we just need to teach it to make dirt now, I suppose. So let's go to, I guess, right here. Sweet. Let's grab dirt. Go have that. And there should be an essence recipe right there. That makes 24 anyway. So that's pretty cool. And I just did the thing where I hold shift and it pulls out all the recipes. Anyway, let's do that. Grab you. Sweet. There's 24 of them. And now uh, we should be able to just pump that into the system, right? Uh, that there. Where's the recipe? Where's the recipe? Oh no. Totally lost. Do I have dirt in here now? What did I do? I do have dirt in here. Okay, cool. <laughs> just doubled up on my recipe. And uh, now we can just tell it to export, throw in a crafting card, and uh, that is another one to take care of. So you can see how easy this is going to be to set up a lot of these. So it's pretty cool that you don't have to do much. Let's go ahead and grab that one. And uh, we just need a piece of dirt. Let's do you. Sweet. And sweet. Awesome. Okay, let's get you in there. And that should start exporting dirt. That's what we want to see. This one was Ender Pearl. I mean, there's nothing really special about this one. It just takes Ender Pearl. So, uh, literally that, right? So, not a big deal, but we'll have to tell it to export. Do that. And uh, I suppose, I guess that's already in there. I'm curious how long that burns. One minute 20? Yeah, we'll have no problem keeping up with that one. So, that is pretty cool as well. And that actually looks like we just automated the first eight generators. <laughs> which I wasn't expecting it to be that fast, we may go and I guess I might make a cut. Go move all that and uh, we can start working on the next eight. Like, I think the only one that's going to really be trouble. So the potion generator is going to take a setup. But I think we can just use the base potions. So that might work or water bottles might work too. Disenchantment. I think I have a way of doing that one. I'm pretty sure actually we could do that one as well. Slimy will be easy. We got tons of slime. Death Generator, easy. Frosty, easy. Halitosis, that's a problem one, because that one takes the Ender Dragon. But I will have to go fight him again, because I have to get some of his potions. Nether Star is easy now, and Explosive. This is actually super simple. So, yeah, I'm going to do a cut. I'm going to move all this. This is going to have to go somewhere else. And then I'll clear it out, and then we'll come back and see if we can get the rest of these generators done. And okay, I went ahead and crafted up all the generators. So I have the next eight that we need to automate. Also moved my power over here just temporarily. We won't even need this setup once the rainbow generator is finally running, which I'm not sure we're going to hit today because uh, we got a bit to do. Uh, we need to start automating these though. So the first one we're going to do is the nether star generator. 
which is super easy. I mean, that's just nether stars, right? We can do that in half a second. Kind of get that one done. Grab nether star, pop that puppy in there. See the exporter. Oh, I forgot to turn these off. <laughs> a lot of these generators have negative effects. So this one has negative effect, which gives you wither two. Uh, this explosive one is a bad one as well. So let's go, do I have any sound mufflers? I'm gonna need those for this for sure. Sound mufflers, let's grab a couple of them. Not wither sound mufflers. Let's grab some dope blocks. Grab a couple of them. Yeah, we definitely need to deal with the negative effects. <laughs> the uh, This one here is actually particularly bad. The death generator, it can kill you. It can straight up just kill you and ruin your, ruin your day. Anyway, I'm going to put three of those back there. So anyway, that produced power. You can see this one actually produces quite a bit. It's got 140,000 in just a couple seconds there. Uh, this one makes a lot of noise and knocks you back. It doesn't actually blow up anything, but it sounds like it's going to. <laughs> so you definitely want to deal with that one. Uh, Gunpowder. Grab that one. We only have 40,000, so we've got to be careful. Not, but anyway, let's do that. Throw that in there. That should handle that one. The undeath can be powered with... Um, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why didn't I turn these all off? I need to get these all off. Uh, can be powered with rotten flesh or bones. So we're just going to use rotten flesh to be a nice, easy solution. We can kind of get that one done here. Uh, and get the potion. Okay. So this one, yeah, rod and flash. Let's grab that real quick. We've got 27,000. I think we're okay. Pop that in there. That one will be automated. Super easy. You won't have to worry about that. Halitosis. I need to go and kill the dragon a few times before I can do this one. Because we need the dragon's breath. And it's the hardest one to do, to be honest. And uh, I think there's a way of actually automating those potions in this pack. Which we may get to before too long. Uh, but I do need to go fight the other dragon a few times. I need to fight him anyways to get more of those uh, dragon egg seeds. Because uh, that's something I need. Uh, disenchantment generator. We can actually kind of do that one in a nice little tricky way here. Let's head back here. We're going to make a recipe for a book. So let's go ahead. Do we have any books in here? Yeah, I don't want those ones. I want uh, just a regular book. Let's grab you. And let's grab a... What is it called? A, just an emerald, right? So let's grab an emerald. Sweet. And uh, we're going to make this enchantment right here. This is called Flim Flim. And we can use this one. And uh, it's going to make it super easy. <laughs> the thing is, when you look it up, I don't think it shows you the crafting recipe at all. So you go to Flim Flam. Yeah, I can't see it, but uh, you can just make it, right? Going to have to do that one more time. I don't know why I typed Ender. I want a book. <laughs> there we go. And a emerald. There we go. Then we can kind of make the recipe, then the system will be able to auto-craft that. And we don't have to worry about it. That one's taken care of. I can't even remember what Flim Plam does, but I don't think it does anything good. You know what I mean? I don't think it's a good enchantment. Honestly, I forget. I remember trying it in PO2, and uh, I don't remember at all what it does. But, uh, that'll handle that one. We'll just need a crafting card. Let's grab that. Let's see here. We've got one right there. That's awesome. Uh, get that one done. That one's simple. And disenchantment. There we go. Sweet. We could just throw our arbors too that we're getting from the uh, mob farm, but I figure just do it this way. That way it's never going to run out. I don't have to worry about it. It just constantly do it. I think these last a long time too, actually. Yeah, five minutes. Oops, I did not mean to do that. But uh, they'll last a long time, <laughs> which is kind of the plan. Let's pop that in there. Over here, we got the slimy generator. This one's a little funky. So let's go ahead and grab our actual hammer here. Hopefully, I'd like to have a hammer. There we go. Where's it at? Right there. We're going to need a little more room for this one. This one takes slime and milk. Yes, milk. Don't ask me why. That's the two things it takes. <laughs> there we go, and there we go. Luckily, we got a whole bunch of these cows in the jar that we'd be getting from the mob farm. Uh, for the loot bags, actually. Which we can kind of just pop down here. And uh, when you put these in the world, they just automatically start making, whip, making milk. And uh, that's going to handle all our milk needs. So we'll kind of do it that way. There we go. That one there. And that we'll just have to set all of these to extract. Sweet. And uh, get them done there. Extract. Extract. There we go. Get every one of these set. Then that one will be automated pretty easy. We just need to automatically pipe in slime at the same time. And to have a way to bottle this, which shouldn't be too bad. There we go. Sweet. That's a lot of quite little flashy, I have to say. It's doing the flashing because it's going to fill, it's filling the, I guess, the buffer in the ender conduit. Anyway, or Ender Fluid Conduit, I should say. You. I was making sure I didn't use Ender Conduit for a second. I thought I was using like Item Conduit or something. It could be a total derp. 
Wait, wait. Let's go ahead and uh, get them all done here. There we go. So that's doing that. Uh, we're going to need a machine here. What is that called? It's from Ender.io. It's called it's the pressurized something. Pressurized fluid tank? Fluid tank. Yeah, we're going to make one of these puppies. Let's go ahead and grab some of them. And I should be able to just make the fluid tank. That's awesome. Should we be able to put that right under it, right? Then we'll need a couple buckets. So let's grab like two buckets. So this one's a little different than the rest, right? Uh, I guess we just need regular buckets. Could I have some buckets, man, that aren't full of liquids? That'd be great. There we go. Only need two, I think, for this setup, so that's fine. Uh, I could just throw the buckets right there, I think. We want to go to the config of this thing and set it to uh, push pull. There we go. And that should pretty much automate it. It just needs to be kind of hooked up to this. And then oh, I'll guess the milk's already going in there. You can see we already have a ton of milk. We almost have 14 buckets of milk there, which is pretty awesome. It's already, 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 already. That's good English right there. Already put, uh, you know, a bucket of milk in there. When it sees the bucket, it's going to pull it out for us. And we don't have to worry about that. Only thing we need, I guess, is a piece of slime, which we should have a ton of. Yeah, we've got tons of that. There we go. And uh, we should be able to just uh, pop that in there. Oh, we don't want to do that. We want to pop it in here, right? So let's do that. That should start filling up. And that's another generator, just automated, just like that. It's the burn time, 24 seconds. Hmm. That actually produces a decent amount of power, too. Anyway, let's leave it to uh, redstone on. There we go. Next one, what is this, the frosty generator? Let's check this out. Frosty. Oh, we just need a snowball, right? That's all we need for this one. Let's go ahead and grab a snowball. We have 14,000. We should be okay. <laughs> Let's do that. I think you can use ice and stuff on this one as well. Although, I mean, it's not very important. I mean, just as long as you have something. There we go. It's going to burn fast, but that's not going to be a big deal. We can deal with that later on, like I said. Last one is the potion generator. Somebody said this one's a problem. Anyway, just make sure all these are off, too. Yeah, someone said that it wasn't working with water bottles anymore. I do want to try that out. Let's go ahead and grab uh, a sink, maybe. Let's do that. Grab one of them. Let's grab a bottle and uh, verify that because that's what I used to use. I just used to use water bottles, so I didn't have to make potions at all. And uh, we'll kind of see if that's still doable or not. Sweet. I think you can fill sinks with, uh, with this, right? I mean, glass bottles with sinks? Yeah, we can do that. Go. No, that doesn't work. Dag damn it. So what are we gonna do then? Um I think there's a machine from Industrial for going to do potions, right? Kinda go check that out real quick. So if I wanted to do that, what is it called? It's called the potion something or other. I guess we can find it that way. Potion, there it is there. Is that it? What's this one? Vaporizer. That's how it's gonna work. We can try this thing. I have no idea how it works. <laughs> or anything like that. But uh, I guess we could see if it's any good for us. There we go. We need a, some kind of machine frame and a brewing stand. This way I just get to stay away from, brew, from brewing stands. Is my main goal here. Uh, hopefully it doesn't add any odd NBT to that episode. That's my only concern. Do that. And finally, right here, machine frame. Awesome. And uh, this. So yeah, we got the potion brewer. Uh, we can just grab power over here. Try this out. I need to just figure out what potion is going to work in this puppy because I'm not really sure uh, what's going to work. So awkward potions might work though. So it's definitely a thing. Did I not grab my brewing thing? I would like my brewing thing. <laughs> brewing? What? Did I drop it on the ground or something? Am I total dirt? I mean, I know I am, but uh, that's awkward. Awkward. Okay. Where'd I put it? I didn't grab it, apparently. Okay, there we go. Let's try this again. <laughs> See what we're doing. We're going to need a coil, right? So let's go ahead and grab... Oh, I already have them all on me. Okay, let's grab you. Sweet. We'll need to get water in this anyway, so let's pop that there. I'll try conduit. Pop that there. Try extracting. Try inserting. Sweet. So, yeah, what is this thing doing? There's a lock. It's like different materials. I'm not sure how this thing works. Oh, it's definitely gonna need power no matter what. It'll need glass bottles no matter what, right? So I'm blessing that's for glass bottles. Actually, let's just put one in there. Oh, 
Oh, it just fills up water bottles for you too. Is that the same one though? Yeah, it is. Same metadata, so it's not going to work. I was hoping just with different data it'd work, but anyway, that's not going to work. Let's try uh, an awkward potion. Let's go ahead and grab some nether mark. Grab you. And I wish you could just look at this and like click the button and look at what it takes. I mean, this late in, uh, you know, 112, this should definitely be something that it can do. I just don't understand why it doesn't have proper JEI support at all whatsoever. Why is that not going? Oh, it does not have enough bottles. No problem. There we go. Try that. Let that go. So it makes water bottles first. Then switches them over to awkwards. And it's trying to do something, but I don't know if it's actually doing something or not. Nope, that didn't do anything. Let's pull those out. See if we can get these in here. No, that's not awkwards don't work either. Okay, that's a problem. Uh let's try. What is the potion I actually know? Because I can't remember many vanilla potions. Uh speed potions. They're just sugar, right? So if we go sugar. Let's do that. Let's see here. If I put one of those in there now, gave it three bottles. Can we use this? <laughs> like, I don't understand why this potion is good. This machine is going to be the one that holds us up here. Because the rest of them are all super easy, except for the halitosis, right? Let's see here. Speed potion? Can I use this? Are you going to be something I can use? No. That's actually really odd. Let me try something here. Let's go uh, brewing stand, right? Let's see if a manually crafted one works. And okay, I went ahead and crafted up a couple of potions of swiftness, and it won't take those either. So I'm not sure what the issue is and why it won't take potions, but I'm going to have to probably go into a creative world and see if it's a problem with the generator itself, or it's some specific potions, or what. Because there's no way for me to look it up at all whatsoever. Um, yeah, I have no idea, man. I'm really confused because... In the past, you were able to put in literally any potion. It doesn't seem like you are anymore. So, yeah, don't know what's going on. Have to figure that out. So, I think I'm actually going to wrap this one up here. So, just going to let everyone know that I do have a Discord. If you want to stop by, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone is welcome. Just uh, keep it classy. That's all I ask. Also, I do have Patreon. So, if you want to think about supporting me moving forward making videos, that'd be absolutely fantastic. I do have a server for my Patreons currently for this pack, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.